Do you want to potentially make hundreds of dollars per day as a teenager? Well, if so, you're in the right place because my name is Matt Parr and I've made hundreds of dollars per day ever since I was 15 years old. I started my online money-making journey when I was just 14. By 15, I was making more than most of my friends. By 16, I was making more than my parents. And I'm not saying this to brag by any means. I'm not acting like I'm some sort of genius or something, but I do feel incredibly lucky to have stumbled across what is, in my opinion, the best way of making money online that doesn't require you to work 24 seven, be doing all these things and juggling all these things. I know as a teenager, it can be hard to manage life already with school and everything else. But luckily, we live in a day and age that allows us to use leverage in order to make way more money than was possible in the past for people our age. Now, I'm 23 years old right now. I make millions of dollars per year. Again, not saying that to brag, but just showing you what's potentially possible if you put in the work now as a teenager, what's possible years down the line. Now, most people who watch this video, they're gonna do nothing with it. Obviously, I can't guarantee you're gonna make millions of dollars just by watching this video, but what I can guarantee is you're gonna learn the same exact tactics that brought me from zero to making well over $300 per day as a teenager. And today, I make thousands of dollars every single day. Day. And the way that I started making money online was by running YouTube channels. Now, these are not YouTube channels like you're probably thinking of. It doesn't entail getting behind a camera, showing your face, becoming this influencer. No, these are channels like Brainy Dose, for example, which just produce faceless content with a voiceover on top of that content. And your age doesn't matter, what you look like doesn't matter. All you have to do is record your voice or even just use AI tools like Eleven Labs to generate a voiceover for you to generate videos like this. And today I run over 12 different YouTube channels that do just this and make over $30,000 per month just from ad revenue alone, not to mention well over 100,000 a month from many different monetization sources. Now, obviously that won't happen overnight, but to get to the point where you're making a couple hundred dollars per day doing this is more than possible. There are thousands of different channels that have reached this milestone. And again, your age doesn't matter or anything else. And this is applicable not just for teenagers, no matter what your age is watching this video, you could potentially do this. And let's start with step number one for doing this, which is choosing a niche. Now, don't make this complicated on yourself. Let's simplify things as much as we possibly can. When it comes to choosing a niche, there's a couple best categories, and I just recommend choosing a niche within one of these. Fitness and health, finance, which includes like making money online, investing and stuff like that. Relationships, travel, and technology, which is like tech tutorials, showing the latest tech gadgets and stuff like that. And the reason these topics and categories work so great on YouTube is because there's evergreen demand. People are always going to be interested in these topics and they generally make more money per thousand views because there's so many advertisers that wanna put ads on this type of content. That being said, when it comes to choosing a niche, my general best recommendation is to choose something you genuinely find interesting and something you're likely to stick with long-term. Don't just choose a niche based off of the amount of potential money you could make, but I do want you to make an informed decision, which is why I'm telling you this. Also, I have a video on my channel that goes over the top 30 best niches on YouTube. Feel free to check that out. Now that you got your niche, it's time for step number two, which is coming up with video ideas. And I have this system that I'm gonna share with you where I come up with unlimited video ideas for my channels. And it's super simple. I just get half of my video ideas from already popular videos. So that means going out there on YouTube, searching your niche on YouTube, sorting the videos by the most viewed in the past six months and finding multiple ideas that have over 100,000 views within the past six months. I get half of my content that way and the remaining half of my content comes from keyword research, where I use tools like vidIQ to search my niche, see the top keywords that come up, figure out how I could craft interesting videos based off of that. So let's say, for example, I search my niche and my niche is airplanes, and I search airplanes on vidIQ, one of the top keywords that comes up is airplane crosswind landings. Then that tells me I should make a video like top 10 best airplane crosswind landings. And if you repeat this process, you'll continually find more and more video ideas. In fact, I believe you'll find unlimited ideas with this process. But generally the best practice with this is just to go in batches of finding 30 ideas at a time. So find your first 30 ideas, write them all down, and then move on to the next step, which is step number three, generating 
your content. And notice how I said generating instead of sitting down, recording videos and doing all that. You can actually generate your content with a lot of the tools that are out there today. All you have to do if you're doing this yourself as a broke teenager, for example, is open up a Google Doc, write down a script that's like 1,600 words. That'll be about a 10 minute video. Reason for that is because we wanna make videos longer than eight minutes so we can put multiple ad breaks through the video and in turn have the potential of making a lot more money because the way you're gonna make money doing this is YouTube will put ads on your video and you'll get a cut of the revenue every single time someone views an ad before or on your video. And when it comes to writing your script, you can use tools like ChatGPT to assist you, which will help with doing AI video writing. Always make sure to put things in your own words though, because at the end of the day, we wanna give people as much value as possible. And one way you can give people a ton of additional value is by opening the top three videos that come up on a certain topic. So let's say we're doing that video about the top 10 airplane crosswind landings, right? And we open the top three videos that come up and we notice some of the videos show these clips, others show these clips. So we'll make lists of the clips that seem to resonate with people the most. And the way we'll do that is by going to the comments section of those videos and writing down what people are talking about. People generally leave timestamps like, oh, check out this one at this point or check out this one at this point. And we'll write all of those down and then we'll make sure in our script to mention those ones. And we're not just copying an individual video, we're taking the best parts from multiple videos to make ours the absolute best. And in turn, we're providing more value to the end viewer. And you might be saying, Matt, what do you mean value? We're literally just making entertaining content. Well, value can be entertainment. Entertainment value is a real thing. And a lot of YouTube's views, in fact, the majority of them are for entertainment value. That being said, there's a smaller amount of views that goes towards educational content just like this that I'm making for you guys right here. And once you got your script ready, you just move on to voice recording. You can use an AI software like Eleven Lab, super realistic voices, pretty much indistinguishable from humans in my opinion. That being said, you can also simply record your voice. This is what I did when I started my YouTube journey, just recorded it on this little cracked iPhone that I had. And don't worry about your voice too much if you think it sounds weird or anything like that. Like I personally hated my voice when I was a kid. I had a super high pitched voice, but I just went through with doing it anyways. And it did pretty well over time once I started uploading a lot of the content and learning what works, what doesn't, and doubling down on what works. So don't worry about your voice too much if you have an accent or anything like that. People generally will not care about any of that. Most of the time, it's us judging ourselves. And then once you have your audio recording ready, you can open up an editor like OpenShot, which is completely free for Windows. There's also free editors out there like CapCut that have been popping up that I've heard a lot of good things about. And if you're on Mac, you can simply use iMovie. And then for visuals on your videos, if you ever do use clips from YouTube, like if we're doing a top 10 and crosswind landings, we want to make sure that we use them within the context of fair use. Now, I'm no lawyer or anything, so obviously this isn't legal advice, but YouTube channels do use a lot of content from YouTube but they do so making it different in nature than the original and having an original script and voiceover on their video. Plus they generally make it educational in value or make it newsworthy. And then to fill in the gaps on your video, you can also use places like pixabay.com or pexels.com for tons of great visuals. Storyblocks.com is also an amazing place to get visuals for your video. And this video is actually brought to you by Storyblocks. Big thanks for sponsoring this video. And I haven't taken many sponsors on my channel here before, but the only reason that I'm allowing Storyblocks to sponsor this video is because I actually use them. I use it on all of my different channels because there's so many instances where we need good stock content where something like Pixabay or Pexels simply isn't going to cut it. They don't have as many clips or anything like that. And platforms like Storyblocks have pretty much unlimited clips. You'll generally find something for whatever you're looking for, whether it's stock media like videos, pictures you use within your stuff, or whether it's music that you wanna put on your video. And if you do put music on your video, make sure it's not too loud. You can still hear the talking clearly and everything. Thing, but it is generally a nice thing to have in the background. Storyblocks got you covered for that. And it's just a low monthly subscription cost for Storyblocks and you can have unlimited downloads of stuff to use within your YouTube videos. Whatever you do, don't do like pay per clip pricing where you find these stock content websites where you have to pay per individual clip. That adds up really fast. I highly suggest just using something like Storyblocks. Also, there's templates available for editing software like DaVinci Resolve. So if you're using something like that to edit your videos, that can be really helpful. And to get started with unlimited stock downloads, 
downloads at one set price. Feel free to head to storyblocks.com slash makemoneymat or check out the link in the description. And don't worry too much when it comes to editing your videos. This is something that stops a lot of people from doing this, thinking they have to be some professional editor or something like that. But you really don't. In fact, some of my most viewed videos, even on this channel, Make Money Matt, right here, if you watch my most viewed video on the channel, you'll notice it's very simple editing where you're literally just putting text over a screen with me talking and during it. And same goes with faceless content. A lot of times the most popular content is not as crazily edited, but now obviously I can afford to do crazy editing. So I pay some of the best editors out there to edit videos like this. Also, I have some videos here on the channel where I walk you through step-by-step -step me generating an entire video from scratch. Feel free to check that out. I'll also link it down in the description. And once your video is ready and it's exported, it's time for step number four, which is creating your thumbnail. Super simple to do. Just head on over to a website called snappa.com. They have tons of different templates for YouTube thumbnails. Plus you can also create a YouTube logo and banner with their included templates. Now for your thumbnail, make sure to use bright colors. Make sure to keep the primary objects within the thumbnail to a minimum preferably three or less main objects in the thumbnail. Keep everything as big as it can possibly be. Use bright colors. If you have any text within the thumbnail, make it as big as you possibly can and keep text to a minimum. And you're gonna have some of the best performing thumbnails on YouTube just following those tactics. But also make sure that your thumbnails are modeling what has already worked within your individual niche because all types of content are different. And once you have all that out of the way and you've generated some videos, it is time for step number six, which is uploading and optimizing your content. Just go to YouTube, click the upload button, upload the video, add in your custom thumbnail, add in a description where you include keywords that people are likely to search for. So for example, if we were doing that video about the best plane crosswind landings, we'd make sure to say in our description, in this video, we're taking a look at the top plane crosswind landings. Same thing with the title, same thing with keywords on your video, and you can also use software like vidIQ, which I personally use in order to optimize my videos as much as I possibly can. And once you have your first video published doing this, it is crucial that you keep uploading more. Don't just upload one or two or three or even 10 videos and then quit doing this like so many people do. I don't wanna see you be another one of those people. Instead, if you're going to do this, make sure you upload a minimum of 30 to 60 videos. And the reasoning for that is because we want to give this a fair shot and so many people quit before they do and they could just be one video away from something taking off and from their whole life potentially changing. YouTube changed my life. It brought me from a broke high schooler with no money to being able to travel the world. Right now I'm sitting here in front of an Airbnb in Costa Rica and none of this would have been possible if I didn't push through that initial hurdle that stops so many people. And also make sure to have a consistent upload schedule, preferably at least three videos per week in the beginning. As your channel grows, you can upload less if you want to because you have a big backlog that can continue getting more and more views. Your videos will appear in places like the suggested feed, people will come across them, as well as search results on YouTube and browse features where it shows up on people's homepages. And YouTube will start testing out your content to small audiences at first, giving you a little bit of impression, seeing how they do to people who are searching this niche or who may be interested in this type of content. You'll see how it does, try to find the best audience for it. And if your video is doing better than other videos out there on a lot of the key metrics like audience retention, watch time, and click through rate, the percentage of people who click to watch your video, then that is when you can start getting huge results in terms of views and everything on YouTube. And then you can join the YouTube partner program, start making money from ads. And to get to the point where you're making $300 per day, you just have to get 900,000 views per month at a $10 CPM. And if you do that, you're making 9,000 a month or $300 per day. And let's say you go all in on this, you do it the best way that you possibly can, and you set yourself up for making $100 per day, it would still be worth it. And even if you make nothing and you learn these skills, they are so incredibly valuable. You can use them, you can become a freelancer, you can help other people, you can start an agency. Your options are basically endless. This is the direction that the world is going in terms of the creator economy, and in terms of content online becoming an increasingly huge business out there in the world. So might as well get involved in it if you're a teenager or any age for that matter, and you're actually interested in doing this, which at this point, if you've watched this far in the video, you probably are. And if that's you, feel free to check out this video next to me right here, which will reveal how to make 10 times more money than most people doing this. It's basically a lazy method of potentially making a ton of money from YouTube, even if you're barely getting any views, which I know sounds crazy. It'll all make sense if you check out this video right here and watch it. It's super short, well worth your time. My name is Matt Parr. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you there.